हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डिस्टिंग सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टेकन द ओवरव्यू ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन फंक्शनल एंड नॉन फंक्शनल टेस्टिंग इन दिस लेक्चर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज फंक्शनल वर्सेज नॉन फंक्शनल सो द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस हियर इज द फंक्शनल टेस्ट वॉट द प्रोडक्ट डज it checks the operations and actions on the application so basically the functional testing is more focuses on what the product does so let's say if you have a application here uh, let's say one uh, one application is there gmail application is there so uh, there is a login functionality and there is username password and then login button so this is a login button so if you are if you are entering uh, some of the details here like username password and and login then it should log in right so we are, we are checking this functionality in case of functional testing so after after uh, clicking on the login what is what is going to do that is it, it should open some some a home page or or any other, any other page which is which is as, as per the customer requirement so this is nothing but a functional testing which shows what the product does and it checks the uh, operations and actions on the application so again inside that uh, we can we can perform some application uh, ap uh, ap applications or or the uh, actions or op operations like we can we can compose the email we can just send the email we can uh, move the email to the draft we can delete the email so, so these are the operations we can we can perform on that application so this is nothing but a functional testing the non functional testing is checks the behavior of the application so here uh, if you consider the non functional testing then let's say the same example here so we we are putting the email address here the password here and then we are clicking on the login button so it checks the behavior is nothing but when we click on the login button in, in how many how how much seconds we are getting the response so we are we are uh, navigating to the uh, next page or maybe uh, in in how many uh, seconds uh it, it takes to to uh, navigate to the next application so it's, not, it's nothing but a request and response time it's uh, it's uh, checking uh, in case of non functional testing the the second difference here is it is testing the functionality of the software so functional testing is basically focused on the functionalities of the checking the functionality of the software so whatever all the functionalities are there we are checking all the all those functionality in terms of functionality testing and then it is testing the performance of the functionality of the software so again as we discuss it is similar to the uh, response time we, we are checking these uh, different parameters in non functional testing so how much uh, users it can it can uh, it can uh, this this functionality can handle so like that it comes under the non functional testing the third one is the functional testing is based on the business requirement so basically the uh, the, uh, the functional testing we, uh, we, we are uh, doing based on the business requirement so there is a business requirement document then based on the business requirement document there will be a preparation of srs document and in the srs document all the functionalities are mentioned and based on that we are only writing the test cases or or the developers are testing the application uh, developers are uh, coding the application so this is basically done on based on the business requirement so whatever the requirement is there based on that we are testing the application the next is non functional testing so non functional testing is done based on the customer expectation and the performance requirement so here again uh, the customer expectation so so if the customer is expecting that the login login button should get navigated or maybe the home page should get open after clicking on the login button within uh, within uh 10 seconds so it should be like that only so to to uh, to check that uh, expectation we can have the non functional testing the next is uh, it test whether the actual result is working according to the expected result so here for example when the inputs are valid app login functions so again uh, yeah uh, so there are let's say if we consider the login scenario so login scenario so it comes comes like there are there are uh, four uh, test cases we can write so there are two, four possibilities so valid username valid password then it should get login the second one is valid username but invalid password it should not login 
then invalid username valid password it should not log in and then both if if are invalid then it should not log in so only in one case it should get login so we have to check based on the actual result and the expected result in performance non uh, non functional testing it checks the response time so as we already discussed and the speed of the app software under the specific conditions so if the users are uh, going to be uh, increased uh, then the then how much the speed will be there so there will be expectation so based on the expectation it should work so after login the dashboard loads within 3 seconds the next is it carried out manually so this is uh, not actually the true but uh, we, we we can have it uh, automated as well so we can we can automate the ui test as well then uh, in in case of non functional testing uh, it it is more feasible to test using the automated tools so non functional testing is difficult manually because uh, so let's say if you want to test uh, if you want to perform the load testing so we should have the the lot of users a uh, 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 lot of users working working on that application at the same time so that we cannot do uh, manually because we have let's say uh, if if we have the software testing having team of uh, let's say 10 10 people then then it would be difficult uh, difficult if if we are, if we try to test it manually so in case of uh, the uh, tools such as load runners we can we can have multiple uh, users at the same time working on that application and we can perform the load testing in a better way so here uh, in case of functional testing we can do it automated as well as manually and in case of non functional testing it should be automated so let's uh, go on to the next slide there are further uh, some of the uh, differences here so it test as per the customer requirements so again um, all the customer requirements are uh, compro uh, uh, described in the uh, B brs document and brs document is converted into the srs document so uh, as per the customer requirements we are testing in the functional testing uh, it it test as per the customer expectation so this is we have already discussed the next is in functional testing the cost of finding defect and fixing is less also return on investment will be high as this this testing is done at early stage and in case of uh, non functional testing in case of non functional testing the cost of finding and fixing the defect is high and also the return on investment will be low as this process takes place after the development phase so this is the major uh, drawback of uh, this uh, non functional testing because we are we are uh, doing it after the development phase the next is the functional testing has the following types we have already discussed this unit testing integration testing uh, system testing and acceptance testing so these are the four uh, types of functional testing and the non functional testing have uh, different types again uh, the security testing performance testing the capability testing uh, load testing stress testing volume testing installation testing recovery testing and, and many more uh, different types of uh, testing are uh, includes included in the non functional testing the example of non functional uh, the functional testing is when the inputs are valid the app login functions so again as we discuss uh, if you have the login functionality so if you have val both the valid inputs such as email this is email and password then only it should get login otherwise for the invalid inputs either either of the inputs is valid uh, in invalid then it should not get login and then for both both of this it should not get login so this is nothing but a functional testing in case of non functional testing after logging the dashboard loads within the 3 within 3 seconds so if we are trying to log in with a with a valid email valid email and valid password and then with a login button here and if we try to click on the login button it should open the dashboard here let's say this is a dashboard within 3 seconds so to to check to check this we use the non functional testing approach so these are all the differences between functional and non functional testing so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do like and subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos and if you do have any 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 queries you can uh, comment in the you, you can enter the comment uh, in the comment section below
so we'll we'll discuss about this mock testing in in our next tutorial thank you so much thanks for watching